nutritional homicide. Now that you are aware you are committing nutritional suicide, you can understand that you also may be committing nutritional homicide. Luckily for you, this kind of homicide is not recognized as an actual act of violence in the justice system and therefore goes unpunished. But that doesn't mean you aren't committing the crime, because that's exactly what it is. You are poisoning human life and promoting disease and death. I know that most of you are doing this unintentionally and unwittingly, but not anymore. You know now, which means you need to act now. If not, how can you live with the fact you are killing everyone you feed and raise in your family, your children and your loved ones? Not only are you feeding them these poisons and slowly killing them and setting them up for a life of sickness, disease and prescription drugs, but you fail to raise them and educate them about their physical body, their creation and how to respect that creation, how to live by the laws of human life and how to maintain that creation and how to have it function in perfect health, which all leads to the one and only purpose of life happiness. Besides your children and loved ones, maybe as part of your job or volunteer work, you feed children in school or patients in a medical setting, people in a restaurant, the homeless, travelers on a cruise, etc. Yes, you are an accomplice in their homicide also. The power to change all this lies within you. You can stop committing nutritional homicide right now. Just do it.